ISM and I'm installing Step 1 Colder spark plugs on my M54. I've been full bolt-on for a while now and I really haven't changed my spark plugs uh, since, you know, I think 10,000 miles ago, 90,000 miles. Um, but uh, I, I'm pretty sure I should be running, um, you know, upgraded spark plugs for sure, the uh, Step 1 Colder. Um, I am full bolt-on, pushing about 20 pounds of boost is really not good for my motor to not be having the Step 1 Colder ones already. So. Um, they are NGK9-5570, uh, I believe. I've already gapped five of them over here um, to 0 .022. Um, and uh, I believe this is what is recommended for Step 1 Colder at high boost. That's what SP Hero says, also some forums say it as well. So I'm gonna try it out. You know, I haven't had really many issues. Um, I have had one issue recently where um, if the car's been sitting for a long period of time, um, cylinders two, three, and five will misfire. Um, only those three, and then it'll go away after running the car for about 20 minutes. Um, it's kind of weird. Um, I'm also going to be replacing injectors in the next video. I have them right here. I got some used for a really good price, I think 500 bucks for all of them. And uh, they only had about 2,000 miles on them, so I figured, you know what, you know, why not? Um, so, I'm going to replace injectors next video. Today is spark plugs. Um, you know, I swapped coils around too, but that wouldn't fix the issue. Um, but, you know, like I said, it goes away after a while, so I really didn't care about it afterwards. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to remove the old spark plugs right now. Um, you do that by first taking the ignition coils off, um, take the plastic clip back, take the cable out, and then you want to get some sort of extension, um, or even a ratchet like this. You know, stick it in there and then pull it out. Um, you, do want to, you do not want to break the clip. Um, I have broken the clip on this one, so it will be a bit uh, more difficult to get out, but I found that just shaking it kind of back and forth, you'll eventually be able to take it out. So not a big deal in the long run. Um, that'll be out, and then you need a special. A few moments later. 14 millimeter spark plug socket like this. It's a pretty thin walled one. This way it'll fit in that uh, spark plug hole. Um, the one I have here is magnetic. Um, I bought it on Amazon. It was pretty cheap. So it'll bring out the old spark plug. Um, I don't even think these spark plugs are bad, honestly. Um, they're supposed to last a good amount of time, good amount of mileage. Um, but like I said, I'm stage two plus tuned. Um, so you never know. Um, well, let's get started. Alrighty, guys. So, um, I've got the point where I've got all the uh, old spark plugs out and start putting the new ones in. But first, I'm going to show you guys how to gap um, the new spark plugs from NGK. Um, funnily enough, they actually came in BMW packaging. Um, I do believe that they are standard on the new four-cylinder, uh, I think it's N20 motor. Um, can't remember the exact code name, but you know BMW does sell them, so just have to adjust the gap a little bit um, to point um, 022, as I was saying earlier. Um, and uh, so I got this little feeler gauge over here I've been using to gap them. Uh, basically, I've been hitting the, uh, I can't remember what these are called, but this bottom metal part of the spark plug on some concrete on my garage floor slowly, um, very kind of kind of carefully, just to make sure I'm not going too far. I'm doing that, and then I'm going to use the feeler gauge to um, see where it's at, and then uh, they're pretty much done. Um, one thing interesting I noticed is that I believe my cylinder one injector is leaking. Um, they're index six injectors, so I kind of expected this at some point. Um, but as you can see, the end is very black in comparison to say cylinder six, which you know is not at all, I mean these, these still have quite a bit of life left in them. Um, I think. Maybe not cylinder one, but at least the other ones do. If it would focus, that'd be nice, but you guys get to my point. Um, you can see the colors at least. Um, I do know that you know most of my other cylinders do look like more like cylinder six. So luckily I'll be placing my injector today as well. It'll be next video. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get started. Um, well, I guess first I'll finish off gapping this last spark plug, and then uh, we will put the spark plugs back in the car. So before I do this last spark plug, I wanted to show you guys, this is what it looks like before we gap it. Let me see if it'll focus. Who knows? Okay. If I take this guy right here, the feeler thing, if I slide it through there, of course this last one is almost perfectly gapped out of the box. Um, it can go down a little bit more, so I'm going to do that. Um, but uh, yeah. Focusing is not doing great right here, but I'll be back to you guys when it's done. Those are gaps. I'm going to put them in the car now. It's pretty much the same process. We're going to torque them down to 17 foot pounds. <laughs> 